I, I just... I just wish I could remember that night more clearly. It happened so long ago. Well, I wish the both of you would decide whether you love each other or hate each other. Because I know I love her, and I'd like the chance to make her fall in love with me. I just wish I could clear the air over this one crazy thing. Yeah, me too. I wish you'd get through what you're going through so I can make some progress. Hank, how do I make her believe that I didn't say those things? Go tell her. No, you're right. I think I know just where to find her. Well, I'll be waiting here, okay? Hey, Ramona. No. Not Ramona. Roger. Have you done your job? Is Sheridan Crane dead? Look, don't call me any more, okay? Don't be foolish, Hank. The organization wants Sheridan dead. And they will stop at nothing to make it happen. No luck with the YMCA? No, man. They fall up just like every other place in this town. Well, Chad, would you like me to get you something to drink? Yeah, yeah, that'd be great, Small. Thanks. You know, actually, you know what? Let me come with you. Me too. <clears throat> um, Mom? Dad, you aren't actually considering letting Chad stay here, are you? Whitney, why are you so against it? Especially since Chad saved your life. Yes, sweetheart, this is not like you. I mean, if anything, you should feel guilty for what you did, having Chad's building condemned. I do feel guilty, but that doesn't mean I want him to stay here. Mom, he's not part of this family. I know you, Whitney. And this is not like you at all, so what is the real reason? What's going on? Have you heard the rumor about Tiffany Thomas? Um, she's the girl that hangs out at the book cafe sometimes. I, I barely know her. Apparently she's pregnant. Wow. I mean, she's really young. Does she have a boyfriend or anything? No, she doesn't have one. Mm. The boy who got her pregnant isn't even talking to her now. He's acting like he barely knows her. Oh, poor thing. Well, I wonder who the guy is that turned his back on her. <laughs> Anybody that we know? That's the worst part. They're saying it's Chad. Why are you so against Chad staying here? I thought you and he had become friends. Oh no. If Whitney tells her mom why, Dr. Russell will check it out and she'll find out I'm lying. Then Chad will find out and he won't be mad at Whitney anymore and he'll wind up telling her he loves her. I've gotta stop Whitney from spilling the beans. Oh. This one is from Princess Caroline. <laughs> oh, I don't think Gwen would mind if we opened it. No. <sighs> How exquisite. Oh, this will look beautiful in Gwen and Ethan's bedroom. <laughs> that vase will be perfect in my and Ethan's bedroom. You're getting way ahead of yourself, Teresa. And why are you still here? Leave right now before Gwen comes charging in there to take your head off. Mama, why are you still here if you are so afraid? They're going to be mad at you too, aren't they? Well, if they're going to fire me because of what you've done, I'll do it to my face. Ethan will not let that happen, Mama. You, you don't understand, Mia. Ethan is about to light a fuse that no one can put out. None of our lives will ever be the same. Ethan, what is it? What is it you've been wanting to tell me? It's very difficult. It's the most difficult thing I've ever had to do. Ethan, are you all right? Yes. You know, let's... Let's, let's take a walk someplace more private. That sounds exciting. As big as these grounds are, I am sure we can find a place to be alone. All alone? Gwen, no, please, look. I'm sorry.
But there's something I have to tell you. And come hell or high water, I'm going to tell you. Ethan, whatever it is, you know you can tell me anything. I know. It's just that I want you to know that I love you. I'm sweet kids. I know you do, sweetheart, and I love you too so much. I can't wait until the wedding. I can't wait to see you standing at the altar, watching me walk down the aisle. Oh, yeah. That's what I need to talk to. you have here. We are positively breathless with excitement about this wedding. And you look marvelous, oh, both oh, of you. you. Oh. This is absolutely, totally the most exciting day of our lives. <laughs> Gwen's sisters have arrived. They're going to be the bridesmaids. I didn't know that Gwen had sisters. <laughs> Sorority sisters, Teresa. They went to school together. I haven't told her yet. Now it's going to be even more difficult. Ethan, you'll tell her, Mama. I know he will. Look, Sheridan, we have to talk. Look, I'm not leaving, not until you believe that I didn't say those things. Oh, it never happened. Oh, right. I'm the liar. No. Look, you're not a liar, okay? There was just a misunderstanding because I never said those Look, things. Look, Louise, please, just leave me alone. No, I'm not leaving. Not until you believe me. Please. Sheridan, it's not true. I would never say those things. Look, I would never use you or anyone else for their money. I heard someone else. I mean, come on, you gotta believe me. No, I heard you. I saw you. It wasn't someone else. Well, that's impossible because I never said those things. Sheridan, please. Right. I would never say anything to deliberately hurt you. Never. Take your hands off my sister! This is the last time you ever hurt a member of the Crane family. Whitney, this is not like you tell.